Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Aquarius. Hello, fellow Aquas. This is going to be our May readings because we want to know everything, right? Aquas, our mantra is I know or I want to know, tell me right now. So I'm an aqua sun sign. I'm a Gemini rising and then a Capricorn moon, which makes me very bougie but also cold. It's a Capricorn moon. Anyways, guys, this is for May. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, as well as the cross watcher for Aquarius. What do we have coming in for May spirit? For Aquarius. Wow. I heard love. That's the lovers. It could be a lover. Oh, oh my God, do you finally get some ass? I don't know. Lovers is Gemini. Lovers is soul connection, but it's physical attraction. It's lovers, you know what I mean? Now the lovers card can also be a decision. And for some of you, there might be a really big decision that you're making in May. Could be really big. It could be deciding to leave a relationship move, start a new career, start a new business, right? It'll be some kind of a big life thing. But it feels like getting some ass. What's up with you? I mean, we don't casually date at our vibration. If you were like me and we've gone through this whole continuous awakening, big bang and all this shit, we don't casually date, we don't casually fuck either. So this is not you just casually having a quick bang. Although, I don't know. Maybe that's what the doctor ordered for some of you. Be safe. But do you, right? I mean, whatever. We're not judging an executioner, bitch. We all got to live our own life. It does feel sexual, though. I mean, it could be they're super attracted to you. And that's exactly what it is. They're super attracted to you. King of Cups. Look at the way he's looking. He's basically salivating. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But it's just a masculine that's like super fucking attracted to this feminine. Like licking his chops. Look at the bottom of the deck, Queen of Pentacles. I mean, super independent, financially stable. This bitch got it all going on, right? So that's extremely attractive to like a lot of people is that you're not a fucking mess. Your beautiful mess, but not a mess like that where they're just like, oh no, this bitch is gonna bring chaos. She don't got no job. She She's dramas every day. You know what I mean? Like that's not the queen of pentacles. She's very grounded and very stable. And even if she is a fucking hurricane and a storm as we are as divine feminines, we are like mother nature. Some days it's fucking shiny and beautiful and the sea is calm. The birds are chirping and the sun is out. And sometimes it's a motherfucking storm. The fool. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. It's very golden ticket, Willy Wonka. The chosen one. The chosen one. Some of you might get a big fucking offer like Willy Wonka got the chocolate factory, the golden ticket. I've channeled that energy really off and on for several years and quite a few people, see look, wish granted, nine of cups. Some of you get your fucking wish granted. It's literally getting the keys to the chocolate factory, okay? It's your wishes and dreams coming true, not knowing. Like, did you think Charlie really was like, yeah, I want to go and get the keys to the chocolate factory and be the head honcho and no longer be poor? Like, he didn't fucking know that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was just his destiny. His destiny was to become king. Some of you are destined to be king and queen. The empress or goddess or empress. 
the Empress is beautiful because it's really all four queens energies that have been sort of not necessarily perfected, but yeah, you have kind of mastered. So you're able to kind of go very frequently, very eloquently in and out of each energy of wands, swords, cups, and pentacles, right? You're sort of well-rounded in all areas is the Empress. Now, don't get me wrong. The Empress is also about like a goddess energy, like loving the fuck out of yourself is self-love, knowing what you fucking deserve. And I think this is why for a lot of you, if you are going to entertain someone seriously, it's a big fucking deal because you do not settle. You sit on your thrones. You know what you deserve. You know what you're worth. You know what you want. You know what you do not fucking want. You don't entertain peasants. If you entertain this masculine, it's a big fucking deal. This person could be an entrepreneur. They could be a business owner. They could be the, 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 the boss or the, whatever, the leader. I'm getting that kind of emperor vibes from them because it would have to be a match to you. If you come up as empress, they have to come up as emperor. Collectively, we've been feeling yet again, um, Christian Grey vibes like from Fifty Shades. I mean, he is like a jackpot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he has some fucking issues from childhood and shit. I mean, we all got issues. But he he just sort of like, like she saves him in a weird way without trying to save him, you know? And I felt that song being channeled to me the other day while I was on live on Instagram. And maybe you're gonna be the one that saves me. Look at what you have here, Wonderwall. That's the Wonderwall song. You have the situation will improve. I feel like if some of you guys have something really heavy that's weighing on you, something stressful, a financial burden, or something that you just feel so, you know, not at peace with and scared or nervous about, I feel like, you see the light, she's going towards the light right there. I feel like the, the universe works it out for you. A year from now that's four seasons and in the near future something may have taken a year there could be a year of coming up like in the near future a year anniversary of something or an, an annual thing every year you see what I'm saying a birthday um, an anniversary of something like oh on this day I'm, I'm sober it's five years you know that kind of a thing there's something about a particular date that ha that happens annually that's quite important. And again, I don't know if it's a birthday, anniversary, or what it is. Um, but I, I feel it. It would have been something that is quite significant, okay? Now, in the near future, I'm also feeling, because this is, of course, us channeling for me. Um, but this can happen at any moment, right? You know, energy is very fluid. But in the near future, I'm definitely feeling like summer, May, June, for, for something, and it could be something else, but May, June. Yes. I just feel like the doors all unlock for you, like shit just... falls into place. I feel like many of you are going to relate to this. We're like, the more we try to force things and try and like put stuff hands on and, you know, try, it just doesn't really happen or work. And it's like, once you take your hands off the wheel, you know, and it's just like this energy of taking your hands off the wheel and letting the universe take over. It's surrender. There's a surrender here. And this surrender feels like it's part of yet another awakening for you. Because we're never fully just like one and done, right? We go through many, many transformations and awakenings. You have the lily. I mean, this really does indicate to me that you guys are like very experienced. You're very, you know, wise. Um, this is like the crown energy, right? Lily is about establish and ambition, experience, development, achievement, longevity, mature and sexuality. I feel like this is just going to be you in your mature state, right? Learned all your fucking lessons, kind of at this crown stage, right? And then meeting someone else that is also 
in their crown stage. Bottom of the deck, you have Stepping Stone. So Stepping Stone feels super relevant somehow. It's also symbolic of the process of arrival. It's baby steps. It's progress. It talks about to keep going and step by step. And it could be really symbolic somehow. We have the tree. See, that's spiritual growth. Uh, the tree also symbolizes being super fucking grounded. It's about health and vitality, roots, right? Um, but it also is about personal growth, right? That's that whole spiritual awakening thing. And it also talks about past lives. You're going to feel super connected to this person that's coming up. The hummingbird. Hummingbird talks about lightness of being and being present and in the moment. Have you ever been like connecting with a person, friend, business partner, whatever, and you're talking to them, but they're somewhere else? Or like they don't give you personal, you know, intimate one-on-one -on -one energy? This feels like someone, because it also says rapid response. It feels like this person is someone that, even if they're the CEO of five fucking companies, that when they make time for you, they make time for you. They, like like they, they're in the moment, they're very present in the moment with you. Um, and there's this rapid response as well too. Um, I just get this vibe of like, no matter how busy they are, they're gonna fucking make time for you. And I think for some of you, that's your love language is like, Feeling like someone is putting in time, energy, and effort into you. And that's what we all want. We all want to feel special and feel like love. You have poison. Venomous, dangerous, and intoxication. Remember when we talked about that anniversary date? Some of them, it could be, you know, their sobriety date. Could be. You have a mirror. Mirror is about self-reflection, self-awareness crossing some sort of threshold and then you also got the crystal ball which is divination intuition and fortune telling there's something very very um it's like it's like a prophecy it's almost as if like something has already been said or spoken or written and that actually comes it, it actually manifests and really happens and i don't know if this is of something someone wrote down or if this is like something a psychic told them or if this is like a song or like something in a movie or something right and you're like oh my god it's just like that song or it's just like that movie oh my god oh my god there's something about that it's like it's like prophesized somehow or pre-written There's definite love coming in the future, but it's not just like random mundane love. This would be like, you know, um, earthquake, you got your whole fucking, you know, that kind of a, I mean, it's the emperor. See, he's going to feel shook if the emperor is very solid, stable, they're god of war. They're very used to chaos and, you know, just that feeling of getting their cage rattled. Like, they don't let their cage get rattled. Like, that's what they, their specialty is, is remaining calm under very fucking stressful circumstances. But I do feel like that's where this is, you, both of you are not prepared for this. The heart cage is just going to be rattled in both of you. And I really do feel like that. I feel like, see, the emperor is, again, that energy of older and wise um and they're just not with the bullshit you know they're they don't want to have their time wasted they're not about you know fucking around um but see this is that heart cage see the nine of wands is the wounded warrior and so i think that for both of you if not at least one of you there's this this energy from the past of you know kind of being hurt maybe putting yourself out there and getting fucking screwed and so there is this sense of not being as open and vulnerable as you may have once been in the past and then the nine of cups again the wish a wish gets fucking granted here Somebody's wish is granted in May, but I was feeling May, June. May and June. Now, the Emperor is Aries energy. We're currently in Aries season. We're still in Aries season, right? Yeah, we are still in Aries season. So, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be relevant somehow too, but in any case, we're going to get into this extended Aquarius.
process. If you wish to rent this extended, you must go to my website, saltwaterheelstarot.com or click that upside down triangle below, brings up the links. You're gonna see it there. It's gonna be in the um, May extendeds on my website, okay? I just finished up that round of the Zodiac intimate extended readings for each sign. So I've put up all the videos on YouTube and the extendeds you may watch on. Um, rent it from my website in the Zodiac intimate section. Also on my website, saltwaterhillstrow.com, there are tickets for my next Mystic Healing Circle. Um, details for that you can check out when you click on that link on my page. Also on my page, I added a couple of extras and my tiger's eye is actually one of them that I was just shook at that I actually had extras for. I'm in the process right now of packing up orders. So again, for those of you that have ordered and are newbies and don't know the process, you will know when your order has shipped because you get a tracking number, okay? If you didn't get a tracking number emailed to you, it's not shipped or packed up ready for shipment. Um, I was sick for three weeks last month in March. It really put me severely behind. Um, I'm also waiting on lapis lazuli beads, replacement beads for my goddess Isis Ma of magic bracelet. Okay. So for those of you that order that bracelet, especially, um, it's going to go out, you know, in about another two weeks or so because I'm waiting on that replacement. But as we know, everything is in divine timing, bitches, right? Um, yes, you can see me. I have no eye makeup on still. It's like the third day because I got that eye infection. So I can't have anything on my eye, in my eye or anything of the sort. Thankfully, my antibiotic eye drops have been working wonders. So I'm hoping that by maybe this weekend, I'll be able to put my, my lashes on and do my makeup and such right with my eyeliner and whatever. But I don't know. We'll see. So anyways, go check that shit out on my website. I think that's it, Aquas. I mean, it has been a bit of a rocky fucking start for us in 2023, right? And every month that goes by, we're just like, okay, okay, okay. But can I tell you that it feels like we're coming up to the season when pigs fly? Anyways, I'll see you in the extended. Love you guys. Oh, don't forget, follow me on Patreon. My link is also below because I do the erotic tarot readings there as well too. And you can only watch the extendeds of the collective readings on Patreon. But anyways, I love you guys. See you later. Bye. In the extended. Bye.